Okay, I will read in English now. It's in the handout one, page 22. To you who are sobbing because somebody's put one over on you. At some point, you've got to slap yourself in the face and seriously ask yourself, is your personal gain or loss really worth this overwhelming joy and suffering? Sooner or later, everyone starts thinking of nothing besides themselves. You say, that was good. But what was it good? It was only good for you personally, that's all. Why is it that uh, we humans are so wiped out? It is a constant effort to gain a little advantage that wipes us out. Illusion means being unstable. Illusion means being controlled by the situation. A person with, with big desires is easily fooled. Even the greatest con man can profit from a person with no desires. Buddhism means no self, nothing to gain. You must be one with the universe and all living beings. Non-self means not turning your back on people. All beings are mistaken. We see it as happiness, that which leads to unhappiness, and weep over an unhappiness which isn't unhappiness at all. We all know the child who's tears suddenly turn into water when you give him a cookie. What we living beings call happiness isn't much more than that. We often say, I saw it with my own eyes, heard it with my own ears. We act as if, it, if this was the firmest foundation there is. But these eyes and ears are not to be trusted at all. Everyone is deceived by their eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body and mind. Everyone talks about happiness and unhappiness, yet what you hold to be happiness and unhappiness is only a thought. In reality, there is actually nothing at all. Don't let yourself be misled by personal gain and loss. All beings are wandering around, having entirely lost their composure. Buddha Dharma means displaying a composed posture. It's clear that in the human world there are also exceptional situations. It's just that a human's weakness is making an, an exceptional big deal out of an exceptional situation. They make a bigger fuss than it's, than it's really necessary. There are some who cheat on preparatory exam, so they have to cheat on the real exam as well. Otherwise, they won't pass it. They go so far with their stupidity that I almost owe them my respect. But actually, if you think about it, you find the same sort of stupidity everywhere in this world. It's difficult to drink in moderation. That's because it's the wine itself that drinks the wine. It's exactly the same with the illusions in the world. Take a thousand, take a hundred thousand possibility, line them up and compare them. They all lead down a dead end. This way leads down a dead end, that way leads down a dead end. Whatever direction you go in, you are stuck. Now simply throw out everything that would lead down a dead end. What's left? A man of great leisure beyond learning and doing. Shuboka. Okay, that was all sayings in English. Um, to you who are sobbing because somebody Somebody's put one over on you. And the title mm, suggests that uh, when somebody put one over on you, we feel bad. And, and Tawaki, in a lot of sayings, he, he said that we make a big fuss about out of nothing. Uh, there are section, exceptional situations we make just as bigger as it is. And, and we weep over uh, a lot of little things uh, that just not uh, wouldn't be yeah, we wouldn't we shouldn't be concerned about it actually. Um, so yeah, the first um, saying I want to talk about is uh, all beings are mistaken. We see as happiness that which leads to unhappiness. And weep over an unhappiness which isn't unhappiness at all. We all know the child whose tears suddenly turn into water when you give him a cookie. What we living beings call happiness isn't much more than that. 
Yeah, so you have here a child with a, a picture of a child who uh, makes also a fuss out of maybe a fall down or something and then he's crying and just have him give him the child a cookie and then it's all over, he's happy again and it's okay. And, and he said that yeah, our happiness is the same. We're just looking for having a good feeling. Um, but it's very short-lived, it's, um, it's short-sighted. Um, uh, yes, so, yeah, because we have this idea um, of life where, where life should get us. Life should get us basically, give us basically good feelings. And when something doesn't feel good, it's probably not right. The picture of the child, the child that cries about an unimportant thing, it makes it big. It needs help. It needs someone who helps. Maybe help him with a cookie. Um, and with this cookie, it gets a little bit happiness. But what does it mean? Does it mean to continue in this state? When you want to be more happy, you have to get, you have to eat more cookies. But when you eat more cookies, it's not so good for your health. So probably. That's not the right way to to look for happiness or to live your your life. And another saying, Tawaki is uh, says that unhappiness and happiness is only a thought. In reality, there is actually nothing at all. What is happiness? Is it just feeling good or feeling satisfied? In what direction uh, do we live our lives when we try to chase these kind of feelings of feeling good and satisfied? I remember there was uh, also um, Dojo Sande saying, I read on the internet, I think, about happiness. And uh, I remember that. I don't remember it exactly, but I think it was about like happiness is even if you feel unhappy and just can accept it. That could be happiness. The next thing I want to talk about. Tawaki says, there are some who cheat on prep preparatory exam, so they have to cheat on real exam as well. Otherwise, they won't pass. They go so far with their stupidity that I almost owe them my respect. <clears throat> but actually, if you think about it, you find the same sort of stupidity everywhere in this world. Preparatory cheating on preparatory exam. That could mean that uh, people who want to reach a goal, like passing an exam, uh, they try to put at the least effort in it as possible to just pass it. Um, so this is it's maybe an example for like efficiency. Efficiency. People they try to be efficient with their time. They want to um, use as less time as possible for things they do, so they can do something else instead. Mm. But what are they doing with their time they have at the end of the day? It's still there. What are they doing with their time? And another quote, uh, which is not here in the To You, it's in the Zen teaching of the homeless Kodo. I think maybe it's in the To You, I don't know, I haven't read it yet. But in the Zen teaching of homeless Kodo, uh, Sawaki is uh, quoted by the world has become small because of developments in transportation. What are they doing? Flying around in their quick cars. They drive fast only to save their worthless time. They are going to play pinball. 
So yeah, what 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 are people doing when they when they're saving time when they when they do something not properly just with half heart, uh, cheating for example cheating uh, on exams. What are they doing with their time after that? What should we do with our time? We have. Yes, Awaki is criticizing that uh, that people um, acting in an efficient way, using fast cars and fast transportation system uh, to, to to save time, and then later just play play pinball. But uh, I think also playing pinball can be something okay in a way. On the one hand, you have to we have to be concentrating on things you uh, you do, and uh, and it's ex also exhausting. And on the other hand, you also need something to to just relax, for example. So I don't uh, totally agree with that. That playing pinball, for example, it's a, it's a bad way. It's a bad thing to do. Um, it's just about the balance. Uchiyama, he comments that in, in the Zen teaching on homeless poses, saying, uh, no matter how efficiently people act, unless they are going the right direction, there is no difference between them and the insect that starts buzzing around when spring arrives. So he is uh, comparing people who are acting efficiently without the right direction uh, with bees, they're starting in the springtime, uh, flying around, buzzing. Mm. Here in Anta G, we also we also act uh, efficiently, and, uh, but that's not the the reason why we do it. Is not to to save time which we can consume how we like it at the end of the day. In mm -hmm. Antaji, we are acting efficiently because we want to go into the acting completely. We don't want to act, we don't want to do something like cleaning or tenso or working outside and then doesn't uh, don't care so much about the work, just work it. Doing the work and decide if we uh, think about something else. When we do a work like efficiency, that's how I understand it, uh, then we have to think about what we are doing. We have to be pre uh, present in the moment. And uh, even though we do it here also like efficiently, at the end of the day, we don't have like time left to, to just play around. But I mean, so yeah. Mm. So you can can act, for example, efficiently just to to looking forward to when you have time for yourself and what you're doing is not so important right now. Or you're acting efficiently um, to really be present in the moment, what we try to do here in Antarctica. I think there are two, two different uh, ways of doing it. That's, I think that's that's what they what what uh, Uchiyama meant when, when he was talking about the right direction. But even I think insects when they're buzzing around, they have like a purpose. Uh, I don't know. Um, they want to collect the honey and they want to build their their state. I think I'm not sure. If I understand this correct. Yeah, so these are the two sayings I want to talk about in this chapter. Is there something to... Sanjay. 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 Sanj